Necessary for Tumfo and his entourage on their way to Cape Coast to stop at the River Pra for some rituals to be carried out. It's just a customary thing. So he actually stopped. He didn't just drive past it. Mm. He stopped. And you can well imagine, after not having seen that river for some time, I can imagine, he was shocked mm -hmm. to see what it looks like today. Of course, the Pra is only one of many polluted water bodies across the country. All of this pollution coming from Galamsi. In fact, he said he was embarrassed. He said he was embarrassed. Yes. Let's listen to him. Let's hear what he said. Galamsi is an environmental enemy for the nation. What could be more serious for any people than to have their entire water supply system at risk? What does the law do when one pours mercury into the same water supply knowing fully well, it can kill. So to do nothing is no longer an option. Yesterday, whilst I was driving from Cape Coast, in fact, going to Cape Coast, I stopped over at the River Pra, and it was, uh, I'm afraid I have to tell you that what I saw, the river, uh, it was so embarrassing, and then if as a nation we live for this to happen to us, uh, I don't know, I don't know. We, we have to fight this. To the morning show. Yeah, he was embarrassed. Uh, he was emb I mean, it is embarrassing. Yeah. The, every every way you think about it, mm -hmm. it's embarrassing. These are a few people, a few people, holding all 33 million of us, plus our future generations, our children, their children. However many Ghanaians will be alive decades, centuries from now, holding us all to ransom, destroying our water today, for a fistful of dollars. And we seem helpless. The very idea of sovereignty evaporates in the face of such absurdity. It doesn't make sense. And you see, today I want our conversation to activate your identity deep within you. I want it to be activated because sometimes our Ghanaianness becomes a passive, mm. a passive force an abstract concept yes just an idea in the back of our heads we are too busy with our everyday lives to even focus on what it is that makes us the the very crust of us is that we are Ghanaians. our legacy is being pillaged by people who know they know that what they are doing is wrong but they benefit too much from it to stop by the way, I know that we point fingers at our government, and it's fair to do so. They are the ones we pay tax to, and you know they are the ones responsible for solving the problem. They claimed they would. It is our president who said he's willing to put his presidency on the line. He said it. So it is right for us to look to them and point fingers at them. But you see the alternatives too. You see what they are also saying? It shows that the hope it will never come from the politician. Apart from promising to come and free those who have committed the offense, the, the, the offense that is in our law books, put there by the same members of parliament belonging to the same opposition party. They will come and free them. Give them back excavators. We are hearing all political parties, you know, both of the big ones, promising to do this. So you can see that politicians are not willing to stop this. So we must stop them. Look, today's conversation is to activate your Ghanaianness. Wherever it is hidden inside you, you must wake it up today. So I ask you a question, and I would like to hear your answer. I invite you into this conversation. Tell me, as a Ghanaian, what are you willing to do to stop Galamsi? And just in case you don't get it, Galamse is poisoning our water bodies. It is destroying our land. What it means is that everything we grow, every fish we catch, every animal we rear, every bush meat we trap, everything that we ingest from food to water is under threat of poisoning. They are poisoning your food and water. 
What are you willing to do to stop it? 0302-216-541-055-1111-997. Call us. 0302-216-541-055-1111-997. We'll start from Kaswa. Ahmed, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for calling us, my brother. I am very grateful. Mm. Tell us what you are willing to do, Ahmed. For now, I am pleading with, I am a Muslim, I am pleading with all our imams from all our mosques to preach the stoppage of mining. And so far as it is not an underground mining. You see, we use this kind of words, galamse, you know, uh, people don't have penny, people have penny. We should stop mining, except those that are underground. Before I go, please, just give me 30 seconds. Six rivers of Ghana, River Bia, Tano, Ankobra, River Pra, Densu, and Volta. Now, Ghana has only one river. Good morning. Hmm. Good morning, Ahmed. Gabriel is in our... I'm fine, Koji. Good morning. Good morning to you, my brother. It's been a while. Thank ah, you very much. I know. <laughs> you haven't called us yeah. for some time. I hope everyone in Akachi is well. We are doing very well. Akachi is fine this morning. We thank God. Gabriel, what uh, are you willing to do? Yeah. Could you, uh, this man is, I think, is, is, is overboard. A lot of talking has been going to this. But for me to go straight to the point, I heard Organized Labour is planning to do something this morning. Whatever decision Organized Labour is going to take, I am ready to, start, to put my life on that to go with the organized labor for this tanker to go away from, from this country. Mm. Very soon, we will not get water to drink. What do we do? Mm. What do we do? Politicians, we be begging them to do something about this. Yeah. Thank you very much, Kojo. Thank you, Gabriel. God bless you. All right, what are you willing to do to stop Galamsi? That's what we want to hear. 0302-216-541-055-1111-997. Ajua, good morning. Mm. Good morning, Kojo. How are you? I'm very well, thank you, Ajo. Ajo is our neighbor here in Kukumlimli. So, talk yes. to us. So, Kojo, tell mm. me, I think that we should stop um, politicizing this gallant way mm. Because um, in 2020, I remember there was one NDC person who um, went to a gallant day site and was saying that the MPP hated them and so. When they came into power, they were going to let them to continue with the Galant Day. Mm. And so you have two different opinions. One saying, I'll let you continue. One saying, we are trying to stop the Galant Day. Mm. So if we stop politicizing it and we come together as a nation and say, this is wrong. Mm. And so we need to come together as a nation and stop it think it's going to work mm. and then if my NBC folks are listening instead of masking people to go to uh, EC public, mm. why do they mask these people to go to the galaxy site mm. to stop them mm. thank you but I said to any people mm. it's a national thing it's this has no particular way colors it doesn't have so if we don't come together collectively we won't get in way Right. Thank you. Thank you, Ajo. Thanks for calling. All right. We're going to Kumasi now. The question is the same. What are you willing to do to stop Galamsi? Kofi Bedu, good morning. Hi, good morning, Kojo. How are you doing? I'm very well. Thank you, my brother. Good. Mm. Uh, try and let us, you know, give us an opportunity to contribute to your wonderful post that you've been bringing on your morning show. Nowadays, don't open the phone line for us now. Please bring in your notice to give us more opportunity to contribute to your program. Kojo? I'm surprised people are saying that we shouldn't connect it to the ruling government. You see, if Mama comes and he's doing the same, we have to go after him. Because, Kojo, I find myself every month, I, I find it to the government, the ruling government of the day, to use it, to utilize it meaningfully. So long as, to me, I think that so long as the MPP is in power, 
you cannot have the solution. You cannot keep this menace. You know why? It is because I think that uh, NPP is defending and protecting the Galamse campaign, especially the chairman who owns a quintal mining and imperial mining. Could you let us not take it lightly? You see, he's bluffing around saying that he has more gold than everybody in Ghana here. He's bluffing around saying that Mahama cannot chase him out of the... All right, thank you, Kofi. Uh, 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 we we cannot independently verify that um, Chairman Wuntumi owns Imperial Mining, but we know he owns Akunta Mining. All right, uh, thank you, Kofi, for calling. Isaac is in our Bokobi. Hello, Isaac. Good morning. Good morning, Reverend K. Y. How are you? Ah, uh, very well indeed, my boss. I thank God. K. Y. Is yes, sir. It, it is so sad that as a nation, we 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 have sunk so deep just because of politics i'm saying this because see, nobody should beg politicians that we are begging them they should solve the problem no we are not begging them if they can't solve the problem they should get they should get the hell out of there let us find the credible people to solve the problem because see fdc and mpp has been the biggest problem of this country and we have to 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 make sure that we, we teach them the, the, the lessons. Look at, look at our water bodies. And when we were young, we drink from the river. We, we use the river for everything. But today, because of my work, I travel across the country most of the time. And I always cry. Please, let us do something. Uh, uh, let us all come together. Whatever we have to do, let us, as I've been saying always, let us ban or stop small-scale mining for some time. That will solve the problem. That will solve the problem because we can't kill our children to eat because we are hungry. Hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Now the question is, what are you, you, willing to do to stop Galam C? Ni is in North Industrial Area. Hello, Ni. Hello. Good morning. Yes, sir. Good morning to you, my brother. What are you willing to do? Well, I believe that unless we have a, we take a very drastic, harsh, radical decision and approach will be dancing around in circles. I've had the privilege of driving from, if you divide Ghana into two, from the north to south, the western part, I do an average of 50,000 kilometers a year. Mm -hmm. And uh, things I see on the roads as I drive around is very sad. And if you ask me, I'll say, let's just kill him. But you can't kill him. So <laughs> something else must be done. Mm -hmm. Because they are killing us. You yeah. understand? So you have to approach it with a, an equal and direct um, force. Hmm. So if you're killing me, then I might as well just kill you as well. Hmm. But then again, Democrats will not allow that. So yeah. unless the leaders sit hmm. down and take a drastic, harsh, radical decision about this thing, we'll be dancing around in circles. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for sharing. That's me in North Industrial Area. Uh, let's go to Nungwa. Hello, Shandorf. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. Uh, yeah, Mr. Shandoff, what are you willing to do to stop Galamsi? Yes, um, I think this government has failed us um, so uh, much. You, you have to switch off the radio, okay, or walk away from it. Uh, we're getting some feedback. Not only this government, but both NDP and DC. And um, there's a group that we want to form now. In fact, we've cut it. And we want to take this mantle on to stop this once and for all. Um, I'm going to get you the details after or tomorrow at the station. And we're coming out with something very strong to stop this menace. Mm. Well, it's uh, assuring to hear. I would love to hear more when, when you start your initiative. Uh, let's go to Tema. Hello, Ajeman Joseph. Uncle Joe, good morning. I hope you're doing well. I'm very well, thank you. How are Welcome you? Welcome from that historic uh, celebration. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm going to try to get you to the house. I'm going to talk to you, bro. Don't worry. I'm going to talk to you. I think every fish is not from the head. If this government team should be politicized, then the authorities, those in governance who are doing it, should meet themselves, talk to the big men who are doing it, that we want to create some, we want to come up with a history that it is we, social and so party, who are able to talk to them too. 
because me am me as you might say here, I don't have the money for excavator or some farm. The excavator and the some farm and the chemical they are using, it involves huge amount of money. And it is not a small boy, it's a big man. So if they step down to stop it, I think it is very difficult. The MMDC and the chiefs who are giving the lines out, they should handle them. So the, the, the big men should understand that when you stop, the young ones will stop. That's the issue now, uncle. That's the issue for. Mm. Uh, we're going all the way up to Laura to talk to John. Hello, John. Yeah, Kojo. Good morning. Good morning. How's Laura today? By the grace of the time. There's a way forward. But the NDC cannot allow this thing to Why am I saying that, Kojo? In the year 2020, Yanom say, Monko Suntu, na ya bai ba, mube tumo, says by Koku Bwahin, Sami Jansi, even then Mahama said, I will grant you amnesty to those whom they have locked in prison. Kasem we yere ye den afrim. You see, the Pharisees in this country are too much. The Bible quotes the Pharisee. You see, he who brought the firewood to the house invite the leader, the lizard, to the party. Hmm. The NDC are the Pharisees. And I will not say it without fear that Koku Boyen, Sami Jamfi, Mahama, they are all listening to me. In the year 2020, almost the Galam Sale constituencies, NPP lost everywhere. You understand me? So if we can fight the Galam Sale, not President Akufado or the soldiers alone cannot fight it. Like if we come together as both political parties, we can fight it. <clears throat> that is mm. the way forward. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, John. Uh, we're coming down to Dan Suman now. Hi, Michael. Thank you. Uh, it's very true. Akufado, uh, President Akufado, and the soldiers cannot stop Galamsi in this country. In the same way, NDC cannot stop Galamsi in this country. There's no political party in this country that can stop Kalamsi. Because, if you remember clearly, uh, when NDC was in power, Kalamsi was going on, but not to this extent. When NPP won, their part party faithful drove the NDC people out. Okay? So now what we are waiting... I I'm telling you the reality. You can take it off, leave it. So the reality is that, is that if NDC should even win today, Kalamse will not stop because the people who were driven out will go back to it. My brother, okay, so let me come to the solution. You remember recently, North Korea, there was flood and so many people died. Do you know what the president did? The, 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 uh, you know, the people responsible with, uh, uh, you know, the people responsible um, with, in the ministries, uh, who did not do the right? He arrested all, the, all of them and executed them. About 30 ministers, they were killed. You understand? So let me give you one thing that will solve the Galamsee. You know the communities where they are doing the mining. It's people who are mining uh, this gold, okay? And the community know them individually. So solving the issue is getting them individually. And how do you do that? You have to encourage the community to expose them. How do you do that? One, let the Ghana Water Companies stop producing water, supplying water in all those communities. That's number two. Okay, number one. Number two, let every such a water producing company within the locality stop operating. But allow water to be transported from outside the communities into the communities. Then you provide a phone number. Let the communities know that until these people are exposed, water will not be supplied. And I, I don't know the you know demarcation, the radius by which this will happen. But that is the you need an ad hoc. You know you need a force to stop this thing. And if you are able to do that. The individuals will come and expose them. They'll bring the. Uh, you you will be shocked how people will send pictures by WhatsApp. You know, send phone numbers, expose them, and within six months, Galamse will stop. My name is Michael. You can bet me on this. Thank you. Hello. 
Thank you, Michael. A very provocative. Uh, let's let's talk to Ya. Ya is our last caller. She's uh, in Odoko. Hi. Hello, Hello, Ya. Good morning. Oh, yeah. Good morning. How are you? Oh, it's our own Auntie Ya. We are fine. We are fine. Thank you, Auntie Ya. <laughs> we thank God. Mm. God mm -hmm. I think uh, I don't know where to start from. <laughs> but it's so sad. It's so sad that we go and queue and vote for people. We give them our power. They are our mouthpiece. And they promise us that, that they will put their presidency hmm, on lies, is that not it? Mm -hmm. And they have their own people. Hmm? They know those who are doing it. And they are shielding them. Because don't they know, if Mama knows, Akufado knows, don't they know them? Kodo? Look mm -hmm. at the parliament. Uh, what is it that the majority whip or who, who is that? The one from uh, Insawam. Yes. What did he say? He said NDC has done more than them. So do you think it will work? Me, my first solution is that just as God separated the water from the earth, if God will hear my prayer, hmm, he should separate all those who are doing the galancy from this earth. I think that would be the best solution. Is that not it? <laughs> uh, don't, don't laugh, oh. hmm, don't, agree, if God will hear my fun. prayer, that's the only thing. If they don't yeah. exist, there will be no galancy. Mm. Is that not it? Because right. the law is not working. The president is saving its people. NDC, MPP. Nobody should blame anybody. Kodo, nobody. I only blame the presidency because we gave him power and the law to him. And he's refusing to do it. He knows them. At his presidency, scene, they are collecting bribes. Is it, uh, what is it, that gentleman's name? This you or so. And I did uh, this uh, expose. And what did I go for do? Nothing. They are benefiting. Look at wound to me. He speaks with uh, power. And he's proud of what he's doing. Don't they know them? Kodo? Hmm. Don't they know them? And innocent people, poor people, are rather suffering. They are dying. They can't even pay for their kidney dialysis. They can't pay. So the only thing, me, I'm saying, if God in heaven will hear my prayer, hmm, they should be separated from this earth. Thank you. Thank you, Antia. Wow. And that's that's uh, <laughs> a very uh, heartfelt note to end our phone in.